Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, Eric Goins here from Automate Intelligently. I want to make a video tutorial today about how to uh, let users use your app before they sign up. So <clears throat> I'm going to do this probably in two parts, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm making a loan calculator here. In the traditional way, this is a Adalo web app. The traditional way this would work is you would have users uh, come to a welcome screen, they would go in and they would lo log in or sign up and then they would access your app. But in some cases, you don't want that. You want the user to be able to use the app and then log in for certain functionality, or they should be able to use the app um, and create an account if they want to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the process here and show you kind of how this would work. Um, and I'm going to give you an example of why you'd want this. So let's say that this is a website that you're using um, and you want users to um, be able to fill out some loan information first. So let's put in some inputs. OK, I'm going to keep this very simple because I'm going to have another tutorial about kind of making a calculator here. Let's just move some of my stuff around. OK, so. Put in a text as well. Let's just kind of make this very fast and simple. And let's add a button here. Um, so this this could be you know taking them to a screen where it would calculate it, or it could ask them to create an account. So I'm just going to call this next, add a little next icon here. Um, and basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to fix this too. And you know what, while I'm doing this, let's just kind of make all this work. At this point, I'm going to force them to make an account, though. So they would come here, they put in this information, and then next would prompt them to create an account to uh, see their loan information, okay? And maybe what you do is you actually, you could call this like save or something else. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up our users so that we can collect this information, okay? And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna add our fields here, okay? And you could use a regular form too. You don't have to do all this manually like this manual form I'm doing. Um, And it'd probably be best to do these in another collection too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this update Okay, or it's going to create a user. Okay, now we don't have an email, password, or name, or anything, but we're going to put in our form inputs. Okay, and then we're going to direct them to the sign up screen. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll take our sign up screen. And all we're going to do is have this, instead of create a new user, okay, we don't want this form to do that. Update the logged in user. Okay, that's it. So we'd remove our other fields and now we would update the user based off their information. 